Hello, I am Nan Wilson, Program Director for the Young Gardeners Program, a project of Galveston's own farmer's market. Today is story time! I am going to read Good Enough to Eat. Let's get started. Look. A salt pepper shaker girl. I definitely need my glasses. So, of course, good enough to eat. What is this book about? Food! This book is written by Lizzie Rockwell. Babies cry when they're hungry. Dogs bark and growl. When you feel hungry, your stomach grumbles. Your legs feel weak. You don't cry or howl, but sometimes you feel cranky. In the nick of time, your dinner is ready. It looks good. It smells good. It tastes good. As soon as you eat, you feel better. Hunger sends you strong signals. It lets you know that eating is the most important thing you do each day. The food you eat and drink keeps you alive. It builds, protects, and energizes your body. Food makes you able to grow, think, move, breathe, stay cool, stay warm. Fight germs. We really need to fight germs today, don't we? Heal. Live. Nutrients are the parts of food that your body uses to do its work. There are six different kinds of nutrients. You need large amounts of nutrients and, and very small amounts too in your diet. Every food contains at least one nutrient, but healthy foods have lots of them. Your body uses different nutrients in different ways. Let's look at the six nutrients. There are carbohydrates. What does this bubble say? It says you need about this much of each nutrient a day. There are proteins. Proteins supply energy and build muscle, skin, and internal organs. Oh, and by the way, carbohydrates supply our main source of energy. Fat. Fat supplies energy and adds flavor to food. Can you think of foods that are nice and fatty? Water. Water is a nutrient. It's the main ingredient in your body. It cleans and cools you. And then there are vitamins and minerals. You've heard of them. What's one vitamin that you've heard of? Vitamins make nutrients work together. Everything your body needs to do is helped by vitamins and minerals. So think about foods and these nutrients. A glass of milk has water, carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins, and minerals in it. Milk is a healthy food compared with a glass of soda pop that only has water and carbohydrates. Digestion is the way food is broken down so that nutrients can be absorb, absorbed into your body. For healthy digestion, you should eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods supply fiber. Fiber does not get absorbed during digestion. It helps carry bad chemicals, and yes, there are bad chemicals in your body, 
and excess fats, too many fats, out of your body. When you digest food, okay, this is the digestive system in your body, right here. Starts up here with swallowing, goes down to your stomach and then to your intestines. When you digest food, mouth grinds food and mixes it with saliva. That's the start of your digestive system. Esophagus pushes food down to your stomach. Stomach churns the food and mixes it with acids. It also turns food into a thick liquid. From the stomach, that thick liquid goes into the small intestine, which absorbs those nutrients that were in the food through its spongy lining. Nutrients there enter the bloodstream. And then the large intestine right here absorbs water and leaves unused parts of food out of your body when you go to the toilet. As soon as food is digested, nutrients start to work. Carbohydrates, protein, and fat get turned into energy. The amount of energy they supply is measured in, what do you think? Calories! You use a lot of energy to run and play. You also use energy to stay warm, to pump the blood in your veins, to breathe, to think, to heal, to grow. Carbohydrates should supply most of the energy your body uses. You can detect carbohydrates in food just by the taste. Foods that taste starchy or sweet contain carbohydrates. Here's some starchy foods. Here's some sweet foods. Here's some very sweet foods. Sweet foods give quick boosts of energy. The energy from very sweet foods is actually used up very quickly. Protein also supplies energy. Main job is to build and repair your muscles, your skin, your brain, your blood, bones, and internal organs. You get protein when you eat animal foods such as fish, meat, eggs, milk, and cheese. You also get protein from plants. The parts of a plant that can sprout and grow, such as seeds, dry beans, peas, nuts, and grains, are all good sources of protein. <coughs> so you can get protein without actually eating meat, fish, or chicken. Just as an old-fashioned lantern burns oil, you burn fat for heat and energy. Fat also helps make food taste good. But it is easy to eat too much fat. Fat has more calories than the other parts of food. If you eat more calories than you need, the unused calories become, what do you think? Body fat! Eating too many fatty foods can make you heavy. Fat is in vegetable oil, butter, and cream. You can also see fat in the white and yellow parts of uncooked meat and chicken. Often, you cannot see the fat you are eating. To find out where fat is hiding, get a large piece of paper, a pencil, and some sample foods. Here are the sample foods. Get a potato chip, a piece of apple, and a carrot. Pause the video and go get those things. Okay, are you back? These are some fatty foods. Here's the experiment. Rub a bit of each food onto the paper. Write the name of the food on the spot where you rubbed it. 
Let the spots dry overnight. Hold your paper up to the light. The light will grow, glow through the spots made by foods containing fat. So on the paper, the spots containing fat will be see-through. You don't need to worry about having too much water in your diet. Water is your body's main ingredient. 70% of your body, including your blood, saliva, tears, urine, and sweat, made up of water. Water escapes easily from your body. In a day, you lose two cups of water just by <sighs> breathing. When you cry, go to the bathroom, and sweat, you lose even more water. But as it leaves your body, water is carrying out waste, and it also cools you off. So when you're sweat, you may be sweating and thinking, I'm hot, but sweating actually cools you off. So you want to sweat when it's hot. Vitamins and minerals are needed in tiny amounts to perform many important jobs in your body. They help all the nutrients and food work together. So what vitamin had you mentioned when I asked have you name a vitamin? Very popular vitamin is vitamin C and vitamin C helps skin to heal. Vitamin A, it's in carrots. What do you think that helps? Eyes. Vitamins are found only in plants and animals. Some more vitamins. Minerals, as distinct from vitamins, are tiny particles of rock and metal. Yes! Calcium is a mineral. Do you know where it's found? Calcium is found in milk and dairy products, cheese, ice cream, and calcium helps build and repair bones and teeth. Another mineral is iron. Yes, iron, just like the iron in your skillet. It's also found in meat and eggs and broccoli. Iron helps build blood cells, which bring oxygen to your brain, heart, and muscles. The best way to eat all the vitamins and minerals you need is to eat a variety of fresh foods, including plenty of fruits and vegetables. Right, young gardeners? It's important to eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. Today, what will you choose? Food keeps you alive, healthy and strong. It gives you energy and makes you grow. Food is fun to make. It's not it's just not good to eat. It's fun to make. That's called cooking. <laughs> of course, food is fun to eat. <laughs> what foods do you have fun eating? So at the back of this awesome book, lots of less the recipes, the full of bean soups, alpha bread, fizzati, oh no, fizz aid. <laughs> it's lemonade with some fizz. 
and there's more information about calories. about the different food groups. This is the end. What a joy it's been reading to you young gardeners. If you would be interested in getting this book, let us know in the comments. And remember to hit subscribe. See you next time.